All right, sorry for the mix up in that previous video. Um, now we are going to continue from where we stopped. So when you download Mingi W64 installed, you have to now run it. So just like I was trying to say before, there's a difference between a compiler and an IDE. Well, let's, let's complete this first. So just go to next and then go to next. It's better to install it in a folder under drive C so that is going to be easy. So just say min gw. So when you go next, it's going to try to install it. But I'm going to cancel it because I've already installed it. So at this point, it's installed in drive C. So if you go to drive C, this is drive C, you can see min gw but if you installed it in another location also take note of this location so at this point we've installed min gw that's step four and step five is to add min gw to parts so this is very important because if you don't add it to parts then most likely you'll not be able to compile your codes so what you are going to do is to open where you installed min gw compiler open the bin directory at this point, you can just copy the path. So the path is here in the address bar and just copy it. And now we are going to paste it in the path variable in Windows. To do that, go to this PC or my computer and go to properties. So in properties, this is Windows 10 I'm using. Just go to advanced system settings and go to environment variables. So in the environment variables, just go to parts, right? This is parts and go to new. Sorry, just go to parts and just go to edit. So here you can just say new and just you go ahead to paste. So this is what you should do. And then if you paste, click on OK, OK and OK. All right. So after all this, maybe it might be necessary to restart your system. Me, I already have done it. So after adding it to part, we are ready to, to go. So what we are going to do now is to, I'm going to close this because this was what I did before now. So go ahead to open Eclipse. I'm going to just close it and reopen it for the for the purpose of demonstration. So go ahead to open Eclipse C++ after you restart your system and just go ahead to launch it and allow it to open. So I was saying there's a difference between a compiler and an IDE. MinGW is a compiler. An IDE is an, is an application that helps you write and run a program. A compiler simply converts high level codes to low level codes. So some compilers actually don't come with an IDE for C++, for instance, the Eclipse C++ compiler. So let's go ahead to start a new project. Click on File and just say New and choose Project. So don't choose any other thing, choose New Project. So at this point, choose C++ Project and go Next. Go to Make File Project and drop down in Make File Project and choose Hello World C++ Make File Project so that it's going to do a little setup of uh, something, some some things you need for you, and then you go to select MinGW GCC. Give your project a name: Tutorial 2019 one, Tutorial one, I think. Okay, let's call it whatever name you give it is okay, and just say finish. So if you come to this point, you you'll be able to be sure that everything worked out correctly. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe so that you get updates when I make new lessons and we'll see you in the next tutorial.